what can I do for my eyes? Especially with women like you. Hey boo, what is up? I am so excited to bring you today's video because girl, if I had a dollar, a dime, for every time someone said, Kiki, what do I use? What do I do for these dark circles? Baby, I would be a rich woman. That is the most popular question that I get is questions about what can I do for my eyes. So this video is a long time coming, boo. I'm excited to bring it to you. We're gonna talk about the seven best concealers for under eye dark circles. And baby, if you know me, you already know, we gonna start with skincare. And I have partnered with City Beauty for this portion of the video. Cause girl, listen, I don't care what you talking about. You need to be treating the problem. Everybody who knows me know that I have no problem camouflaging and putting makeup on something that doesn't make you feel so good about yourself. I have done it when my skin was going through its worst stages ever in life. I would hide behind makeup. I was so embarrassed to even leave the house without it. But that wasn't a solution and that's not a solution. If you suffer with under eye bags, dark circles you do need to be treating the skin so that your makeup products will even be more receptive i have been in the beauty industry for over 30 years i've worked with countless women of countless ages i've worked with all of the skin types and i am here to tell you that makeup performs better on healthier skin and when you are treating the dark circles and you are treating the fine lines and you are treating the loss of firmness you can actually use less makeup you won't have to pile on the product so heavily because the problem won't be so prominent i absolutely love city beauty they are on the holistic end of the spectrum which you know you know me that that's my thing they don't have a bunch of ingredients that that no one can pronounce they've got goji berry they've got seaweed perfect skincare to wear underneath your makeup it smooths it brightens it reflects light it's filling we can depuff treat dark circles so yes boo always be working on your skin and don't just become complacent with well i'll cover it with makeup that band-aid it will catch up with you this in the long is run. the eye revive serum i love using this in particular when i am doing a little bit of makeup application this firms lifts tightens the saggy skin and it works seamlessly and perfectly underneath the makeup no problem with it peeling and coming up and peeking through or making the concealer act funny all of these products sink into the skin rather quickly they don't sit on top you're not left with a greasy feeling and the eye revive firming serum this one in particular i definitely have been using right underneath my makeup the under eye recovery i've actually been using this one at night I use this under my makeup too, but I like to use this one alone because it does everything that the firming serum does in addition to brightening. This has a light reflecting effect, which makes it perfect for absolutely no makeup or a little tiny bit of makeup. You've got a little extra help with your eye cream, and I think that that's so cool. And then, of course, the infamous lid lifting treatment. If you watch my makeup videos, you see me use this. I have saggy eyelids, I have hooded eye, I have droopy eyelids, and I put this on as my eye treatment, and it's also an eyeshadow primer. Not sure if this is my favorite or the Advanced Action Sculpting Cream, which, by the way, is a whole new vegan formula. We're going to talk about I it. I love this so much. I want to give one away to you. All you have to do is leave a comment below, like this video, and subscribe, and you are entered into the giveaway to win your very own City Beauty Lid Lifting Treatment. But yeah, I mean, you wouldn't even think that 
Amazon would have a luxury skincare brand like this, but they do. So next time you are on Amazon, check out City Beauty, go to their site, read some reviews, see before and after. These products work, they feel amazing. Everyone who uses their products as directed love their results. If you decide you wanna give them a try, be sure to use code KIKIKAR for money off. I will have everything linked in the description box. And thank you to City Beauty for partnering with me on this portion of today's video. Okay, girl, now on to the makeup, okay? The seven best concealers. And I'm gonna go from number seven on down to number one. Number seven is the Tarte Shape Tape Original. And it has the number seven spot because I would be remiss if I made a concealer video and I did not mention Tarte, but they do have the last spot on the list for their crappy reputation. It's always drama with Tarte, but as you can see, you know, it's not enough drama to stop me. I still have Shape Tape. I still will buy Shape Tape. And it's just unfortunate that they're always in drama. If you need a good concealer for your dark circles, I'm more about helping you than I am about keeping Tarte off of the list. So Tarte has number seven. The next concealer, ironically, is e.l.f., which is a supposed dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. Now, this one is the e.l.f. 16-hour camo. This is the one that all the girlies rave about. Now, I picked this up just to show you. I only researched which one was the best because I wanted at least one drugstore concealer on here outside of the Maybelline Age Rewind. I think everybody kind of heard of that one. It's been around for a while, so I wanted to bring you something that maybe you hadn't heard of. So the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer it does have that applicator like the tarte um it felt pretty comfortable on the skin like i said i don't use this i simply purchased it so that i could show it to you in today's video and give you an option because a lot of people ask that from me my sentiments about the product are very new and very recent i've only tried it a couple of times for the purpose of this video and to tell you about it so spot number five is the lancome all over face concealer i actually have this concealer in a bunch of colors i use it for my contour i use it for my highlight i use it brightening i have this in so many colors and this has the number five spot because it goes from zero to 100 literally like you can wear this and it could be super duper duper sheer on your face or you can let it sit on your under eye and then blend it out for fuller coverage it's just a very light sheer airy beautiful covered but not spackled on or painted on or completely completely covered and you can't see any skin at all and if you have under eye dark circles like me that they are not that bad they are not that severe this will do just fine this is beautiful i use this on like an everyday basis for like an everyday look in the number four spot is the born this way to face yes baby they are on the list because if you talking about covering something up effortlessly this is it okay let's talk about the born this way to face that i absolutely love by the way smells like paint thinner but it is the bomb okay when you want that full on I am beat, beat on beat, beat to the gods, I'm I'm dripped out, I'm draped up, baby. The makeup is on, the makeup is on, it's caked up, and baby, it ain't flaked up. It's looking good, I'm looking like the bomb. My face is beat. And make no mistake about it, I look for lollies, okay? That's, that's her, that's her, okay? The baby is going to give makeup, the baby is going to give full coverage, the baby is going to give flawless every single time like it's not even gonna fail ever and it has the number four spot simply because mac 
has the number three spot okay yes it does because mac is an og the mac prolong wear concealer that comes out in the pump i would have to say the only drawback of this guy is that you cannot control how much comes out it's going to pump squirt like you can't press it slowly and let a little bit come out when you pump it it's one pump it's gonna give you a pre-dispensed amount that's the only drawback with this but a mac concealer come on now you know that this was gonna be on the list mac is known for complexion this is the first stage makeup that was available to the public where you don't have to be an artist and you don't have to have a license and access to premium makeup mac is the first people to do that for you highly pigmented eyeshadow color complexion products that are not out here playing games with nobody flawless going to photograph beautifully this brand looks amazing under lights it looks amazing in photography each and every time because that's what it was formulated to do i love mac such an innovative brand babe and you know that they was going to be on the list hello the number two spot are you shocked it is the hourglass vanish concealer babe the most sophisticated luxurious five-star hotel linen baby white linen okay this is the best the prettiest the richest the most oh my god princess diana the queen of egypt i'm telling you this is the absolute best of the luxury concealers okay i mean when you're talking about covering a dark circle this is what the rich people cover their dark circles with can i tell you okay this is what they use so lightweight so creamy so beautiful so blendable and it absolutely works everything just looks flawless with the hourglass concealer okay are you ready are you ready for the number one concealer to cover dark circles are you ready drum roll please <laughs> it's gonna go to natasha denona are you shocked are you shocked oh my goodness girl it's a long story with this okay pull up a chair i gotta let you know about this because I just got this. It's crazy because I had tried to pick this up before. And while in store, swatching, trying, playing, I could not find a color that I felt was working. Fast forward to recent, I go in again, determined this time to be able to stand there and piece through all of the concealers one by one until I found one. This time, I went in for this. This time, I'm wearing no makeup. This time, I'm on a mission to find one that works. I go in, I'm swatching, I'm playing, and I face the same problem. I cannot find a color that I feel like works. So I just grab a color that looks like other colors that I already own. Like I'm going to get out of this store under these types of lights and I'm going to try it at home under my lights, under my conditions. And baby, when I tell you that this is the truth. First off, I feel like that was happening to me because this concealer has a color corrector in it too. If you know me, you know I loves me a two-in-one product. And if I can just go off on a tangent real quick, this product is the example of formulation of an industry profession. No shade, no shade, no shade to anybody that's came out with a makeup line that's an actress or something. But Natasha Denona, was a makeup artist and with this concealer you can definitely tell you can definitely tell that someone who do makeup went in there and said no it needs to be a little bit more like this it needs to be a little bit more like that a lot of times in makeup with us industry professionals we'll blend and mix and 
come up with our own stuff like i can remember blending and mixing up some bronzers other makeup artists have done stuff like that i've heard stories of how people used to make their own thicker lashes because thicker lashes couldn't exist and with this product you could just tell that she formulated it with the mindset with the intent of i was a makeup artist for many years and i had wished and hoped that i had a concealer that looked like this that performed like this that act like this that did these types of things because that's what this concealer does like it's so many things in one like i said it's also a color corrector and the finish is absolutely beautiful it has this powdery finish that dries down matte but not really and it still has a hint of hydration to it and it's just an absolutely beautiful formula it's lightweight it's airy the hype has not lied i see why everybody talks about this i understand like it's absolutely beautiful and like i said it is the prime example of someone who actually does the job and actually works with different concealers and actually works with different skin tones and different races and different skin types and textures came out with something you can tell that this person did makeup somebody who just wear makeup or just like makeup their formulation would not have been like this like she put lots of thought into this and she had something very specific that she wanted the concealer to be able to do and she had very specifics on how she wanted the concealer to perform and this formula is a home run knocked straight out of the ballpark buttery smooth velvety finish absolutely gorgeous this is the concealer i have on today and baby as you can see the skin is skinning if you want to see this makeup tutorial head over to my instagram it will be there the full tutorial but yes girl the natasha denona has the number one spot in the seven best concealers to cover dark circles i know this video is gonna help so many everybody is always asking you are not alone i have dark circles everybody has them the skin underneath the eye area is thinner and it can't hold much moisture and people who have maybe severe dark circles that may be hereditary everybody's under eye is the same it needs extra moisture it needs extra attention it needs extra love and we do that with our eye creams and our eye serums and cold compresses and just getting enough sleep and drinking enough water so yeah girl this was fun if you enjoyed today's video be sure to join my free vip beauty community it's all about beauty makeup skincare and fashion it will be me kiki car in your dm giving you all of the tea as to what we need to do in order to stay fan because that's what we gonna do up in this piece because we have the resources to be able to do it we've got educational videos we've got products tips tricks so yeah sign up for my free vip if you trying to keep it cute for life like me and click like click share click subscribe <laughs> duh and i'll be sure to see you on the next one Mwah! i've been losing friends and finding peace Honestly, that sound like a fair